and staying on the policy direction speech uh, by the central bank um, governor. Joining us now is uh, Biodu Akepe, managing director, Afri Invest Consulting. Um, Join us via Zoom. Great to have you on the show. Good morning. Good morning, Ladi. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for coming on. So we see the central bank governor talked a lot uh, about uh, the banking industry um, right here in Nigeria. Talk to us about the pros and uh, cons of recapitalizing the Nigerian banking sector and possible risks to that. Okay, good question. Um, maybe let's just take a step back and quickly, you know, tap on the watchings where we're coming from and how did we get here, basically. Um, we This is not the first time Afri Invest is making a call for the banking sector to be recapitalized. In our 2022 banking sector report, we had actually uh, made that call, very bold call. Um, and that's coming from, when we look at the numbers from 2005, when the industry was last recapitalized, um, the, that exercise then put the recapitalization or capitalization requirement for the banks. Um, you know, there are three buckets. There is a regional, there is a national, and there is international banking license in terms of um, the licensing bucket for the banking industry. It put the capitalization number then at 10 billion, 25 billion, and 50 billion, respectively. But um, if you look at how the dollar, um, our foreign exchange basically has evolved between 2005 and now, Nigeria has had many, many, many episodes of um, the NERA devaluation, right? And if you dollarize, that capitalization number for the banks. That means um, the, the capital for banks are quite more smaller than we, we had it in 2005, right? Um, if you put in, if you translate that 10 to 25 and 50 billion capitalization number to dollar using um, um, a rate in 2005, 129 Naira 35 Kobo, to the dollar in 2005, you, you would have 77.5 million, um, 193.8 million, and three, 387.6 million dollars in terms of dollar capitalization number for the banks across the different licensing bucket. Now, um, if you put that into the dollar terms, um, clearly is going to show you how much more in terms of capital injection the bank needs. So we think on our computation to just um, dollarize the capital numbers for the banks from 2000 level, 2005 level, using today's exchange rate, we would need the banks to inject as much as 23.3 billion, um, 58.2 billion and 100.6 billion respectively across their different um, 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 licensing bucket. Now, the upside to this is that um, the banks become globally more competitive, right? Um, um, what that means is if you look at um, Nigerian banks vis-a-vis -vis other global peers across um, emerging markets, developing economies, across the advanced economies, even across BRICS, right? It, it shows you that Nigerian banks gradually can become more competitive and have the capacity to take on additional lending, create risk assets, manage their risk better, right? That is the upside. Now, on th th there's really no downside. The, the downside is just that um, there will be that competition locally for banks to raise capital. You would expect um, most of the big names that you know to come to the market to begin to raise capital. Already we've seen a bank such as Fidelity and I think the FBNH, that's Forest Bank, talk about the need to, to, to commence a right issue program. Now, if you look at the, the, the shareholders' funds for these banks, um, just looking at emerging markets and developing economies alone, as of 2022 in dollar terms, right? Um, for the first, um, they, in Nigeria, we have this classification we call FUGAS. That's the First Bank, UBA, GTB, Access, and Zen, right? Those five banks, on average, has about three billion in shareholders' fund. Now, if you compare that with um, with South Africa, just looking at South Af Standard Bank Group and um, um, the first round average of about eleven point two billion in shareholders' 
11.2 billion dollars in shareholders funds compared to 2.3 billion for nigerian banks the first five biggest banks i called um that you have in terms of capitalization and the ability of these banks to take on large ticket transactions um, whether domestically all right or all right mr Kerry. all right so um okay. definitely this is gonna because yesterday i saw some you know chatter already you know about some banks already talking about you know mergers some already looking at acquiring you know smaller banks what are you seeing you know going forward with this when this is actually officially you know announced um yeah what we see is um we would, would expect these banks to come to the market there is no two way about it they're going to come to market to raise capital question is how what sort of capital are they going to be looking at a combination equity debt equity alone or debt alone i mean clearly it has to be um in the minimum in the minimum best case scenario equity capital raise um in a little bit much more up uh, um base case scenario a combination of equity and debt right so that is the picture we're seeing and this is more compelling if you if you had listened to what the cbn governor had said that for a one trillion dollar economy that we are aiming at in a few years time um, we need to have a banking system that is strong enough to bank such an economy. So, which then or the buttresses the point about the need for this recapitalization exercise to happen. So, speaking to your question, right, um, um, would I expect these banks to come into the market to begin to raise capital, either through, uh, we expect to see a lot of rights issues taking place where 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 that does not provide um the, an, a window for them to raise the amount of capital needed then they might be looking at um some sort of public offerings which also can, can augment um whatever capital they could raise or a, a combination of both and then the debt capital also Right, definitely uh, a, a lot to um, look out for. We're definitely waiting for that official um, announcement and how the banks actually uh, 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 manage um, all of this. Thank you so much uh, for coming on the show, Mr. Abedu Kekri, Managing Director, Afrinvest uh, Consulting. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.